Hello, uh, let's talk today about JavaScript debugging in Chrome and we will use DevTools for this and currently we are on DevTools site and if you are a JavaScript developer, this site will be very useful for you. So, uh, situation, we have uh, element and we have event for this element and we need to find the functions that will be called by this event and uh, we need to debug this function. For example, we have menu and by click on this link we see our submenu. So we have element link, we have event click. Let's go to our DevTools and uh, currently I am on tab element and my console is open. You can open or you can close your console uh, by clicking on escape button. Okay, uh, let's choose our link and uh, you can write this and uh, this will be your current element. So, uh, here in this tab we have event listener and here is all our events for uh, this current element. So, we are looking for click element and here you see that we have three elements. This is... Um, uh, three events, sorry, uh, events for current element and for parents uh, elements. We see that uh, there is actually no um, events for this um, element, but uh, we have a click event on our uh, Lee element. So let's go to this element and uh, okay, here we are. So we see uh, that uh, we have click on our uh, Lee element and this uh, by uh, by clicking on this element uh, we uh, will go to this file and to this function so you see that very easy from elements event listener uh, now uh, you we choose our event and we can find our functions that will be called by click by by um, by this event. For example, what we can do next, uh, actually we can debug it. Yeah, we could say it some console log. Oops. Save it. And now by click, we see that it works, right? So we don't need to switch to our ID, change something, then uh, come back to our uh, uh, browser, refresh, etc. We can do all here. Of course, we can delete this and let's delete this. What, what else we can do? For example, we could uh, add, uh, um, add a new event for current element. Of course, uh, we can um, call our element by ID or class, but I think uh, this regular expression is very useful. So at the uh, event listener, for example, again on click, and uh, let's call our function console log. So click to. And now let's click. And we see that our new event uh, is already added to our element and we can find it here, of course, in elements, even listener, but we need to refresh it. So here we see that we have two um, handlers for click element for this element, one from the files that we already saw and the other from our console log. Um, if you want to see from console, uh, events for particular element you can use this get uh, element listener for for element right so we have two clicks here and what we can do for example we could write like click zero and what we have here listener And here is our function. Here is again link uh, to the file this function, and so so we could game from console on. We could game from uh, this event listener tabs. Um, a little bit interesting with jQuery. 
and uh, here I will show you the situation. So here is our site, and we have here button to show or hide menu, and let's explore this link. So here is the link, here is our event listener tabs and let's look at the click and here is uh, our click event and we see that uh, yeah, we have here link on jQuery file. Of course, you, if we will go to the jQuery file and by the way, it's minified and uh, we just don't see any useful information for us. Yep, so what we can do? Again, uh, let's check uh, our current element, okay, and here is magic string, um, sorry, uh, so, for current element, let's see what in events, so in events we have one click, yes, it's right. So click zero and we have here handler that contain our function. So handler. And voila, we got our function, our not jQuery handler. And we have here link on our function. And clicking by this link, we can change here what we want. Again, we get right here. For example, we could see what we will have in our this. Save it and click. You see that I don't refresh anything on the page. Okay, save it. So as you see, we have our this in console log. Um, yeah, this is it for now, and I hope it was helpful for you. Thank you very much. Bye bye.